Hello friends, you are welcome back to my channel. My name is Lawrence, if this is your first time here. Um, uh, you know, as I always do, I share with you things that are happening in and outside of the SDA church. So today we're going to talk about this movie right here, The Hopeful. You know, <laughs> this movie is currently receiving lots of criticism from some Adventists, and I'm going to explain to you why. This movie is entitled, as I said, The Hopeful, and it attempts to tell the story of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And this movie is set to be shown in various movie theaters across the United States and in some countries as well. Now, some few days ago, I think Pastor Ted Wilson came out to promote the movie. Let's listen to what he said. Over 180 years ago, God called a movement of people who were inspired by studying Bible prophecies. Now, this is a movement of more than 22 million Seventh-day Adventists worldwide. This inspiring story is shared through the film, The Hopeful. This is the miraculous story of the founding of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in a 90-minute film. Use this unique opportunity to share with your friends, neighbors, and family members that they can have an opportunity to experience the hope and inspiration of our history and Jesus' soon return. We want viewers to not only learn about our past, but to learn about the Jesus who is coming soon. That's why we have created follow-up materials to continue the discussion. But the best way to follow up is through your own testimony and by living out God's love each day. Jesus is coming soon. Also, it is written, YouTube channel interviewed the director of the movie, that is the hopeful and this is what came out let's watch it christensen from hope studios i'm glad you're here thanks for taking the time thanks for having me now you are the executive producer of a movie about to drop in theaters selected theaters tell me about the hopeful obey his word and believe there is no time for delay i believe the bible is clear jesus will return in but four short years this tells the story of a group of people in the mid-1800s. It's a true story, and they thought that the end of the world was going to happen. The end of the world did not happen, but it gave them the opportunity to decide if this was going to be the end chapter of their journey or the beginning chapter of their journey. And it ends up leading to a 22 million member movement around the world. It leads to the largest run um, Protestant healthcare system globally. Uh, this character, Ellen, she actually becomes the most translated nonfiction female author in the world. The Advent people were traveling on a path toward a bright and a holy city. And she's canonized by the Smithsonian Institution as one of the top 100 most influential Americans of all time. Let me ask you what the viewer can expect, the viewer of this film, The Hopeful. Uh, well, they can expect an incredible story that is filled with excitement. It's also filled with tragedy. It's filled with loss. It's filled with true love. And ultimately, it's filled with the message of eternal hope. This is not the first time the end of the world has been prophesied by a fool, nor will it be the last if you do not renounce these radical ideas. You will not be welcome here in this house of worship. If you're telling a good story, you need to have people feel the story, not just hear it, not just understand the storyline, but to really feel it. And, you know, some of our test audiences, we've, we've had people walk out partway through in tears because some of the scenes were so poignant that it just really hit deep. I remember one woman, she came out and, and she said, she said she was in tears and she said, you're doing your job totally right. It's just, this is so emotional and so moving to, to you know, see the journey and, and it's resonating with, with parts of our lives that we have today. Do you really believe this doctrine which you preach? I was lost and now I'm found. Okay, Kevin, take me behind the scenes. What, what was a filming day like or what, what was shooting this what was that experience like and, and what were some of the what were some of the things that the cast and crew 
wrestled with or experienced. So they filmed it in, in, in Canada, and then of course the ship scene that we did, we did that in Scotland, and then post-production was in Australia. So Canada, where in Canada? It was in Ottawa. There, okay. there's, a, there's a village there that is just kind of kept up for historical purposes. Yeah. And Perfect for this, eh? Yeah, and they were, they were open to allowing this to film there. So it was pretty much one location, you know, and, and we've had people also ask, well, how did, you, how did you choose these actors? Why these actors? God provided some really fantastic uh, actors and actresses who brought very genuine performances to what they were doing. I mean, you know, people who took their craft seriously and, and brought it to life in a way that it doesn't feel cheesy and it doesn't take you out of the story. Now we have a clip of The Hopeful to take mm -hmm. a look at. Before we see it, tell me what we're gonna see. So this is when we first introduce Ellen. You know, the, the film is not it's not the story of Ellen. It is the story of the movement, but she gets introduced partway through. She's ailing. She's, you know, been dealing with a uh, difficult health situation throughout her life. And now here comes this man, William Miller, who's, who's preaching and he's sharing this message of hope instead of the, the fire and brimstone messages that she's been receiving for a long time. Here's someone who's sharing something new and it really connects with her and it speaks to her and it's and it's this revolutionary message of grace of healing and of hope okay let's take a look and unto 2300 days then shall the sanctuary be cleansed yet focus not on a simple day or hour for while they are near so is christ know him first seek him first let us love one another, for love is from God. And those who love were born of God and know God. God shall wipe away all tears. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, nor shall there be any more pain, for those things are passed away. Is this a conversation starter? Is this a, is this a witnessing opportunity? This absolutely is. I mean, when you think about what was Christ's method for reaching out to people? It was, one, it was storytelling. Sure. It was starting with, who's around me? I've got farmers. There was a farmer who, you know, he starts right. with a cast of characters that people can relate to. But it was also, it was conversational. It was group related. And it was spending time with people. And, you know, what we love about the opportunity with this is it's not just something that you're sending to someone or you're hoping that maybe they watch it, you know, on their own, that it's something that you can actually invite them to a space that they're comfortable with in a cinema. You're sitting there. You don't have to give them a whole preface ahead of time. I and mean, we, we don't do that with other films. Right. People just go in and they see it, you know, and so the same thing. You can go in, you can see the film, and then it will prompt questions. And if you know the story and you know what you believe, that's a great opportunity to say, you know what, let's go to dinner. Let's talk about the film, like we do with every other film. That's but, right. But this time, I actually have a personal connection because sure. this story, it's actually my story too. To address the idea of the theater or the cinema mm -hmm. being a safe space for Christians. We've seen that, um, you know, media is a very influential tool. Yeah. It can shape people's lives, it can rewrite history, yeah. it can influence people, um, but we know the power that it can be used for good. So, you know, we saw how um, our church has used media from the printing press to radio, to television, Amen. and then social media. Yeah. So, you know, these are, these are tools to be used. And when we look at today, we, we are filled with noise. There are ads everywhere. There are you know, lots of messages being shared, but there's only one place left that people will put their phone down and they'll actually pay attention to your worldview for 90 minutes or more, and that's a cinema. All right, friends, so that was a conversation about the movie, The Hopeful, you know? Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to play the full interview right here on this channel, but. If you want to watch the full interview, you can find it on It Is Written's YouTube channel. It Is Written YouTube channel, all right? You'll find the full interview there. So um, what I can see here is that it looks like um, they are promoting 
this movie, all right? Some top SDA pastors and uh, um, some SDA YouTube channels are promoting this movie so heavily. Let me use that word. But some Adventists are criticizing the movie. You know, there are some Adventists that are saying that, hey, um, this movie um, actually is the same thing as another movie um, called Tell the World. That is what some Adventists are saying. But personally, I think that it is not correct. And the reason why I'm saying is it is not correct is that, you know, um, the hopeful and uh, Tell the World are two different movies with the same cast or characters. Let me say that. So it is not the same movie. They are not the same, right? They are two separate or different movies with the same cast. So you would find this lady right here in uh, Tell the World, and you would find the same lady in uh, The Hopeful. And another issue people are raising about The Hopeful is the character Ellen White. That is the actress who played the role of Ellen White. <laughs> some Adventists are accusing her that in some of her other movies, um, she did not show a Christian character. Like in this movie you are seeing on your screen, she was found smoking, which does not promote a Christian character. So some Adventists were questioning why she was allowed to play the role of Ellen White. So I think the question about the actress, um, the director is the best person to answer. I cannot answer why um, the, that actress was allowed or selected to play the role of Ellen White. I don't know, but I want to know what you think about um, the hopeful movie. I want to know what you think about it in the comment section, all right? So the question is, should Adventist support or watch the hopeful video or movie? I don't know. I think the best answer is that it is a personal decision or it is a personal choice. I cannot decide for you. I can't do that. It is a personal decision. It is up to you to decide to watch it or not. So I think Adventist would learn something from the movie. So well, it's, it's good. It's good that we watch it. We support them. That is my personal view, all right? So, friends, this is all that I had to share with you today. My name is Lawrence. <laughs> See you next time.